BI-0101 is a CAR T-cell. It was designed by uh, researchers from Hadassah, uh, Professor Polina Stepanski in her lab, and uh, Bar Ilan University. This is why it's HBI. And um, it's, it's uh, locally produced CAR T-cells. Now, the advantage was that we can uh, design and work it at our own uh, uh, hospital and give it to our patients um, uh, where CAR T is not available in most countries, especially in Israel right now. So CAR T is technology that where you take the patient's uh, T cells, which are lymphocytes that know to kill other cells, but they don't recognize the patient's plasma cells that are amyotogenic or making the myeloma. And you insert into the um, lymphocytes, you insert a construct that uh, recognizes the plasma cells and attaches to them. Then the lymphocytes are going to the plasma cells and are killing them. And responses are, are phenomenal. So the patient, most patients will respond. The main problem is that um, in the first week of treatment, you get severe side effects. You have the whole immune system that is overworking and patients have high fever, low blood pressure, shortness of breath. So when you're speaking about the amyloidosis patients, these patients are usually, especially if they have heart involvement, they are very, very vulnerable for, for aggressive therapy. And so nobody in the world would want really to do a CAR T cell trial for amyloidosis patients. And this is the advantages of what we did. So we're the first in the world that are allowing amyloidosis patients to receive CAR T cells in a clinical trial. And we had very favorable results. So patients are responding very well. And it's actually safe. Patients do the procedure. Most of them, even if they do have some sort of uh, organ deterioration, kind of a little bit of heart failure or kidney failure, it is transient. It's uh, manageable. And most of them will do it. And, and feel much, much better. And the responses are very high. So most patients are responding. And not only they are responding, they go into very deep remission, which is very important in amyloidosis because in amyloidosis, it's been proven again and again that the light chains are toxic to the um, organs, to the, to the heart, to the kidneys, to whatever organs involved. So if you are able to reduce the light chains to zero. And this is what the CAR T or, or any immunotherapy nowadays does. They reduce the light chains to zero, not normal, zero. So you don't have amyloidosis uh, anymore. You don't have the toxic, plasma, the toxic uh, light chains anymore. And patients get better fast. So they, they really feel much, much faster. The, the, the shortness of breath goes away. The proteinuria, if they have renal involvement, is, is um, relatively fast uh, decreasing. So it's a very promising therapy. And the most important thing is to show the world that it's feasible, that you can do it to amyloidosis patients, because usually amyloidosis patients are not included in clinical trials because nobody, everybody's afraid of them. They're so frail and so fragile. Most of the patients were very advanced patients, and we still are accepting patients who are after a few lines of therapy. It's not for newly diagnosed or even second or third line patients. It's for patients who are relapsing again and again. And so the patients are very difficult patients, or let's say the most difficult patients there are after many, many lines of therapy, some of them. Um, and therefore, um, the ability, well, while most most therapies that we have are giving partial responses. Even those that give better responses, they usually are not able to give thus that big responses uh, uh, to repress the, um, these malignant plasma cells. So first of all, as I said, it's, it's the most important thing is that it's safe. So people will be able to, to do it, not just in Israel. Well, CAR T therapy is in some countries available uh, for myeloma patients, and, but most physicians will not dare to give it to their amyloidosis patients. 
So now they see that it's feasible, that they can do it. And, and, and it's not that unsafe. It's, you, you can manage the side effects. And um, so that's the most important thing. And obviously, showing that most patients, again, we have 100% response rate. All patients, we haven't done that many patients. We've done 11 patients by now. But they all are responding. And some of them for a short time because they're really very severe patients. But uh, most of them are responding and have deep responses. And one advantage that we hope, maybe a long time to see, it's too early to say, but that actually amyloidosis patients may fare better than myeloma patients because they don't have a large load of disease like myeloma patients. So in myeloma patients, durability is an issue. We'll see if, if amyloidosis patients will do even better.